Thank you. Former, eight, former HUD secretary and founder and chairman of the American Cornerstone Institute. Good to have you with us uh, today, Dr. Carson. Uh, there, there was an interesting moment, you know, with regard to this other shooting that we saw in Ohio or, or stabbing attempt, I should say, um, between these two young girls, teenagers. It's a terrible situation on all sides. Uh, and this young girl ended up losing her life as the police arrived on the scene and she was shot. Um, here's what Don Lemon on CNN said about that incident. Watch this. If the woman in the pink was my sister, niece, wife, whatever, I, you have to make a decision. Is one life on that scene more valuable than another? And if someone is trying to take a life on that scene, do you protect the life of the person trying to take the life, or do you protect the life of the person whose life is in imminent danger at that point? What was your take on, on that whole situation? It's a sad situation, obviously, all around, Dr. Carson. Well, uh, obviously, uh, you know, our hearts go out to, to all the people who are tragically affected there. Um, when people get very, very angry, uh, sometimes they, they lose all sense of, uh, of anything that's decent. And I can remember when I had a, a terrible temper, going after people with baseball bats and trying to stab someone once. The grace of God saved me, quite frankly. I could easily have been in jail or killed myself. Uh, so I do understand that. However, you have to recognize that the, the police are there for a reason. They're there to maintain order, to protect life. And if a police officer comes up on a scene where someone is trying to take someone else's life, uh, they have an obligation to act. Uh, they don't have an obligation to sit there and, oh, let's see, which one of these is the good guy and which is the bad guy. You know, by that time, you know, the deed has been done. They, they're trained to act quickly based on what, the, what information they can gather quickly at the scene. But there's an even deeper problem here, and that is that there were a number of adults who were standing around uh, who saw this situation escalating. And it's incumbent upon them to step in and try to prevent the further escalation. You know, there was a, a guy there who was kicking a woman in the head. You know, this is obviously not yeah. useful. And when we, when we allow that kind of thing to happen in our communities and then try to blame, you know, the police when they come in, I, I think that really is a strain on credulity. You know, one of the things that bothers me that when I was thinking about this story, there, 441 people under the age of 18 lost their lives, in, mostly in shooting incidents in this country, just in 2021 alone, Dr. Carson. And I thought to myself, if this girl in the pink had been stabbed and hurt or even lost her life, the chances that anybody in this country would ever even heard this story are so slim. Uh, most of these kinds of violent acts, we never even we never even hear about them. We probably wouldn't even know who either of these people are if it hadn't been for how this tragic situation ended. Well, you know, there's the, that this is an area where the media plays a role and the way that they emphasize or de-emphasize things. And they can take something that's extremely rare, like, uh, you know, a, an officer like uh, Chauvin, who is way off the end of the scale. This guy is beyond belief. And to try to make it seem like that's representative of the police department in Minneapolis or any place else is absolutely absurd. And uh, obviously, we do need to, to learn from all of these instances that occur. In this instance in, in Columbia, there are a number of advances that have been made in terms of weapons that can immobilize people immediately. Uh, why aren't we talking about that? Why aren't we making those things more available to the police? You know, I really feel for the 16-year-old girl who was killed. Yes. Uh, you know, she, she may have been somebody who was going to have a tremendous life, and she just got crazy for a minute. You know, that's, that's horrible that she would have to lose her life, but if the officer doesn't have any other choices, that's part of our problem as a society, and we need to make sure that we give them more choices. Thank you. Uh, wise words. Dr. Ben Carson, thank you very much.